let's continue looking at bad aquariums. By the way, YouTube, I'm, I don't know if you heard this in the last one. I don't know if Ghost Boy is going to include it in the edit or not. I'm cursing less. So pay attention to that. And actually, if you have nothing to do and you like watching my YouTube videos, count how many times I curse. Just keep a little count while you watch the video and then write it in the comments. I'm curious if it'll go down over time. I'm working on it. Also, sorry, I swear I'll look at fish eventually. How bad is a 13 minute mile? Hear me out. I'm fairly fit in the strength way. I do a lot of activity and exercise in terms of like strength, not much in terms of endurance. <laughs> and I tried to run a mile for the first time today. There are a lot of factors. First of all, it was 90 degrees. Second of all, I had just worked a long day of work. Third of all, it was on like blacktop. I feel like it's pretty bad. But I think on a track, on like a well temperature day and like uh, after a good night's sleep, I think I could probably hit like 10 minutes. I bet I could do 10 minutes. It's about the pace of the average American. Oh God, I've fallen so far. That's terrible. Okay, what's a good mile time chat? What's a good mile time for like a goal time? Don't say like six minutes, please. Sub 10, 10 is average. Seven or six if you're really fit. Okay, can we do a little, can we be a little kinder to me here? Sub 10, okay. Mark my words, I'm going to run a sub 10 minute mile by the end of this month. Mark my words. Okay, anyways, let's look at some fish. Now that we've added enough fluff to the beginning of the video to make it seem like it has a personality, even though I'm selling you the same content that I've sold you, I'm so glad the plant gets to thrive. Oh, this is, we've seen that. Saw this at a Chinese buffet. Wait, I've seen this exact thing, but with koi fish instead of, wait, I'm in the wrong scene. Hold on, rewind. I've seen this with koi fish instead of um, turtles. And this was at the, I think it was a Chinese buffet that I went to. And the seats were on the edge of the pond. So my little siblings were like trying to reach down into the pond and grab these koi fish. It's like one inch of water. This is insane, by the way. Like, how are they getting any heat whatsoever? There's not really like a heat lamp or anything. These are just turtles just chilling in a terrible shallow pond. But yeah, I've seen this also in a Chinese buffet near me. So I guess it's a somewhat popular thing. Former roommate, be kind to yourself but not to betta fish. It's sort of, you know, life's a balance, you know? In order to be extra kind to yourself, you have to take the kindness from somewhere else. So it's only natural that you would take it out on animals. Can they breathe? Well, betta fish breathe air. They're obligate air breathers. They have to come up to the surface for air. So they really don't need much water to breathe. Oxygen is not much of a problem with them. However, room can still be a problem. And also water quality be a problem. I think this qual is that? That's not a freshwater fish, surely, right? Surely this is an ocean fish with an arowana. That's a barramundi. It is a freshwater fish? Where did you get that? Where did you get that? <laughs> okay, I'm rewinding on that carp that I was like, how do where you know where did you get that? Okay, carp are everywhere. Where did you get a barramundi, and why did you put it in a fish tank? That's crazy. Friend just sent me this. I'm at a loss for words. That one is dead. I like the I like the the decreasing size. That's aesthetically satisfying. Live blackmore, dead goldfish, candle. Only slightly larger than the tank that this was in. I work in a daycare and this is the fish in toddler class. Goldie is a warrior. If you could, you could, you know, you could like add water. I'm sure no one would be mad if you like added water, made sure the filter system was going. Maybe we teach children how to like, I don't know, have some compassion for animals or how to properly care for them. Because maybe they do have compassion, but they don't understand right and wrong because they're children and they learn that from the adults in their lives and the ones who stay complacent and bystanders. I'm saying too much this video. Anyways, here's an axolotl in um, what I imagine is axolotl purgatory. 
This is sort of in between the layers of hell. Just an empty glass tank with algae growing on the bottom. Somehow managed to grow algae even though there's not a light on the top of the tank. Which is impressive. Because usually the problem is people have too much light in their tank and it creates a lot of algae. This is impressive. They've managed to grow a carpet without a light on top of the tank. Local golfing range. 50 to 60 gallons. The biggest pluck I've ever personally seen. Yeah, not surprising. Definitely not the biggest pleco I've seen though. The wild ones in Florida go crazy. You go to Lake Okeechobee, Oke Okeechobee. I'm not sure I'm supposed to say that. The river that goes around it, or I guess it's a canal, is just absolutely filled with gigantic plecos. It's awesome. And I love that no one can tell the species from photos either. I think that's so sick. All of the plecos on iNaturalist are just what, pteroglycthes or whatever the genus is. Genuinely don't understand how people think this is okay. Is that a pond loach and two goldfish? The pond loach doesn't give a crap. Doesn't mean it's a good environment for him, but he does not give a crap. The goldfish, on the other hand. What's the point at that point? I thought like the whole point of it having a monster fish was like to feel cool and rich and to show it off to people and talk about how cool your fish is and how you have a big cool fish. This is like, I. there's no way you're showing this to someone, right? All of the gravel is on one side of the tank. There's just a patch of algae. What does this say? Keeping a road... Doing a road trip with a fish from Maine to Utah? And it's named LeBron. Okay. Don't do that. Maine to Utah? You're doing a cross-country trip with a betta fish in a... In, is that a water bottle? God, it's dead. Oh my God. Wait, no way. Are these Christmas ornaments? Well, I guess we'll find out if any of the fish have epilepsy pretty quickly. Holy crap. That's a new one. That's actually impressive. They've taken a bad idea and done it at scale. Usually when we see a really bad idea, it's just like one dude who executed it in his basement. And you're like, OK, that guy's dumb, but at least he's not doing this en masse. This guy said, what if I did it en masse and we have bad idea on crack here or maybe good idea? I mean, if you don't care about animal suffering whatsoever, then you probably make a good profit. This is probably a very appealing little thing to carry around. Until they die and it starts to smell real bad. Kids at my school brought a fish into the building and put it in a jar with the disgusting school tap water. They would shake it occasionally, and one of them decided to post this. Free Bobby. What is that? Is it Garammy? Who brought a Garammy to school? Rami? Garammy? We don't need to talk about accents right now. Anyways, Free Bobby. Bobby Big Ball is my goat. Found this at the pet store at the local mall. Who's surprised? What is a giant betta? Is it a different species? Is it uh, Betto hipposideros, the one I caught in Malaysia? Like one of the large betta species? Or is it just the same species and they just call it a, betta, a giant betta because it's like slightly bigger? A breed that's born to be slightly bigger? I know it's pretty uncommon for anything except betta splendens to be in the aquarium trade. So I'm going to assume a giant betta. I mean, it is fairly expensive. Maybe it could be. I don't know. But I would assume it's just a breed. Embellus? No, it shouldn't be Embellus. Splendens is the one that's in the aquarium trade. Embellus, the peaceful betta, is pretty expensive. I don't think it would be $17 for a betta Embellus. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe it's cheaper to collect them than I thought it was. There's not that many of them in existence. I guess if you bred them. I don't know. Wait, claw machine with lobsters? Hold on. Temper. I got excited because it's a really cool idea. Like imagine like a, a dip net that you control with the claw machine and you have to catch something. Now let's take into account animal suffering. OK, it's terrible, but take. Think for a second what it would feel like if you had no sympathy for the organisms around you. This is kind of sick. They kind of get boiled in the tanks anyways. This is crazy though to pick them up. 
I hope the claws barely work so people sit there for an hour paying like $150 for a crappy lobster trying to pick this thing up over and over again. I think it's a little understocked. How is that red red tail cat not eaten these two? Oh, and the two arrow on in there too. That thing should have eaten everything in that tank by now. Last update, he died. Not even a day and he got a bladder and a fungal infection in the same day. What's the update on? I'm just looking at a glass. I suppose that's it for the day. Nice. This is such a cool idea if executed well. But yeah, it's probably crappy. Crappy. Because I'm not going to say curse words. Alright. I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye. Whoa!